I was born um, actually in New York, and I kind of quickly moved to the Midwest. My father was an automobile executive, um, switched back and forth between various uh, various companies, and then um, at a certain point, we, you know, he was transferred around, and uh, he was transferred to the Northwest. And they liked it so much, they decided they were going to leave. And this had also something to do, this was in the 60s, and this also had something to do with, as my father liked to say, the feeling that he never wanted to attend another meeting again. Um, and uh, he bought a small marina in Seattle. And uh, we had a couple of houses there. The, um, the one that I, I remember the most uh, was in Woodenville, Washington, um, which is a small town or then a very tiny town outside of uh, Seattle. And the local story was, I don't know if this is actually true, because I never, it was like too good to check, um, as we say in journalism, but the story we were told was that there's this sort of plaque in, uh, right in the middle of downtown Seattle, and there is a, a ring that was drawn around the plaque, say 35 miles outside, something like that, and uh, 40 miles. And uh, within that area, you couldn't have hoochie cooch girls. And, uh, Woodenville was established, you know, sort of 40 miles in one foot. <laughs> so it was, uh, you know, dominated by good time Charlies, and uh, the rest was all farms and, and then a very large uh, uh, nursery, Molbox. And, uh, you know, this, what didn't have much going for it by itself was uh, not, not even really incorporated. So we went to, uh, we actually went to school in the nearby suburb of uh, Bellevue. It was right on the fringe of, this, of the suburbs. Yeah. And, uh, it was a pretty good place to, to, to grow up. I, I loved the boats and the, and the marina, and uh, um, and it was also, I, I, you know, one can't grow up in the state of Washington without being aware that there are these, you know, Native Americans there. There's these other people there. Twenty six, I think it is, a reservation, something like that. Um, and I was always, as a kid, intrigued by Northwest Coast Indian art. Um, I just thought it looked great. I mean, I didn't really have anything. I like to go to the museums and look at. Um, and uh, but I had no idea that I would ever write anything that would be in any way related to it. And then I went to um, Amherst College, uh, sort of a weird experience being the only guy from Woodenville, Washington, and you know this sort of den of the Eastern <laughs> establishment. But you know, good good for me. And uh, after that, uh, I went abroad for the first time and um, ended up working for an English language newspaper in Italy for a couple years. And had a, had a really good time. Came back uh, feeling like it was probably time for me to you know, get serious about doing something. And uh, I thought I would find a job, and then I would do some freelancing while I was finding uh, a job. Only I never found a job. And um, this temporary state has existed now <laughs> since 1980 or so.